to model convective heat transfer using COMSOL. So uh, we can do this thing as a 3D object or we can do it as a 2D object. So uh, we will go to model wizard then uh, let's do it as a 2D object to save the computation time. So we clicked on 2D then as the heat is going to heat transfer is going to take place uh, here we will apply heat as a boundary heat source at the interface of a solid and a fluid. So the heat transfer will take place to both solids and fluid medium. So, then, so it will be a conjugate heat transfer problem. And in conjugate heat transfer, we will assume we will take a natural convection. So uh, the flow uh, we, we are taking its laminar flow. Then we will add a study. Then we will do it a time dependent study. Done. So uh, we will go to geometry. In geometry we will go to rectangle. A rectangle. First we will model a solid domain, a thin solid domain. So height uh, we are going to take. Uh, we will take a horizontal plate. So height we will take uh, point zero five meter and width uh, let's take one meter. Build all objects. Then uh, we can use duplicate command here. Uh, then the fluid medium which will be a perfect will have a significantly more height compared to the solid domain which I modeled. Let it be point five meter <coughs> and the y direction will be same as the height of the solid domain control C we will put Y here build all object you can see here this is <coughs> we will assign the fluid domain this will be solid domain let's assign materials so uh, we will take solid domain as uh, made up of steel so add material we'll type here steel search so 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 many types of steel we have uh, got so so many types of steel uh, you can pick any steel to will take steel 
PISI4340 and the fluid domain could be either water or air. Let's take air. Search air. Now, <coughs> since I assigned steel, so by default steel got assigned to both the geometries. But uh, as I discussed, the the above geometry, this geometry is a fluid domain, and the fluid we have chosen is air. So this material will be assigned air. Now heat transfer will take place in both solid and fluid uh, medium because we are going to assign a boundary heat source rather than a fixed temperature to this metal plate. And then you will see how the heat diffuses in the solid domain and convection takes place in the fluid domain. So uh, this is the fluid domain. Let's assign it fluid. Then uh, we will go to flow conditions. So there is a convection taking place. So the air will be entering from the two sides. And then uh, we will assign open boundary condition to the top surface, open boundary condition to the top surface, and we will assign a boundary heat source here, <coughs> heat sources, boundary heat source, and uh, this interface of the solid domain, the fluid domain, we will assign a boundary heat source. Let the value of boundary heat source be 100,000 watts per meter square. Then we will go to assign the laminar flow physics. So we know that there is contribution of uh, gravity it because of the density difference uh, convection current arise in the fluid so uh, we are going to include gravity here and uh, uh, we will deselect the fluid domain this uh, uh, only we will select the, so deselect the solid domain and we will only keep the fluid domain then uh, in flow conditions uh, we assign similarly we will assign inlet conditions uh, at the two edges of this fluid domain then uh, we will assign open boundary condition at the top surface so uh, physics we have set uh, heat transfer in solids and fluids and uh, flow conditions we have already set up then we will see uh, the uh, there seems more than one physics involved so there must be coupling which uh, can be done through multi physics interface so uh, there is a left R flow and heat transfer so both are both equations corresponding to heat transfer and R flow has to be solved so multi physics uh, is necessary to be assigned then we will go to meshing and let uh, the mesh be uh, to save the uh, time we will uh, use coarse mesh here and build on it was uh, done quite fast then we will go to study then, then we will go to time stay so the time step here is shown in already shown is 0, 0 0.121 in second unit. So let's change it to instead of 0 0.1, let's make it one second and stop at 50 second. We'll replace it. 
then we will see how uh, the convection current arises uh, while the solution keeps taking place. So, I check the plot um, here so that uh, we can see physically uh, as the solution is taking place how the convection current is arising. So, after this, we will click to compute and now watch how the convection current is taking place in the fluid domain and diffusion of heat is taking place in the solid domain. So we see that uh, solution has uh, completed up to time 50 second here. Now uh, let's change the color uh, the plot which is plot color. Um, to red for this. <clears throat> so initially, when you see initial value, the temperature was 293.15 Kelvin. After applying boundary heat source, we observe that the temperature of the two mediums, the fluid and solid medium have changed. We can see uh, the derived values. I can go to surface average and then <coughs> you can select this whole fluid domain and then check its temperature temperature evaluate so this is for different time steps let's uh, scroll down and see the value so how the evolution of the temperature has taken place of the entire fluid domain you can see here or we can just see the temperature for the last time step so <coughs> It was 293.15 Kelvin. So after 50 seconds, the temperature of the fluid medium becomes 295.98 Kelvin. Let's see uh, the temperature of the solid domain at the last time step. It comes out to be 390.92 Kelvin. So the temperature of the solid domain has risen more compared to the fluid domain whereas, whereas both started from the same initial temperature of 293.15 Kelvin. This is obviously because of uh, the steel has got good thermal conductivity compared to the convection which is set up in the air domain and we can see the temperature at the interface also. Uh, we can do average line average 
and select this interface for the last time step the temperature of the interface comes out to be 353.7 Kelvin so we can animate this again layer you can see this nice animation you can reduce the time step from point 0.1 uh, we can increase the time uh, display for each of the frames there are 25 frames uh, each of the frame pass at the rate of 0.1 second per frame so if you want to visualize it slowly you can increase it to say 0.5 second and then again watch the animation this is how the convection current arise in the air domain when a boundary heat source is applied at the interface of the solid at the fluid domain and the we can also see the diffusion taking place heat diffusion taking place that is conduction also diffusion uh, is another term for heat conduction in the solid domain which is the steel here So thank you for now.